Everybody starts dancing Everybody dances, to Feather Note like Music, a... which is great. Yeah, good morning. I'm Jen Dalton. And I'm Bob Herzog. A musical opening this week will have the earth moving under your feet. Gosh, I wish we could sing on this song. I We're know. Not to it's sing. brutal that we can't. Uh, it's probably better for the audience. It probably is yeah. much better, yes. Beautiful, the Carol King musical opens tomorrow at the Warsaw Federal Incline Theater. And this morning we are joined by the star of the show, Sydney Higgins, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you for being here during Tech Week. I don't. Right. Anytime we have we have performers, and I'm like, they probably just went to sleep. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> it tends to be a, a long week. So thanks for being here. Of yeah. Because you yeah. open tomorrow night, right? So yes. Tonight's your last rehearsal. You yes. Said? The yeah. last time to get everything done. And how are you feeling so far about everything? I feel great. I love this show so much. This is such a special show to me. So anytime I get to sing our songs, I'm just. Happy to be there. Well, we were talking a little bit during the commercial break, but I'll go ahead and ask you again so everybody can hear you give the answer here. What did you know of Carol King before being cast as Carol King? Right, yeah, I knew a lot of the hits of Tapestry. Um, I know, obviously, like the Gilmore Girls song and things <laughs> like that. So and then, good. But then there's a lot uh, of like 50s and 60s songs that she wrote that I was like, oh, I had no clue that you wrote this hit. It, it was amazing to find out all these yeah, songs. Right, because yeah. she has a huge catalog and she wrote for a lot of people, or I don't know if she specifically wrote for them, but they yes. made her songs famous. Yes. So, I mean, I don't even know how they whittled down the amount of songs that you have in the show. How many songs are there? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like a whirlwind of right. songs and it's cool because it's it, they call it like a factory where they would write songs and they would just write the songs and they'd be like that's great for this person, that's oh. great for this group. So it was like just pumping out songs all the yeah. time. Yeah. So really she was cool. she was crazy prolific in that sense. Yeah. How does the show how does this show work though? Cuz I I assume it's not just hey, let's go out and sing a bunch of songs. There's there's a story that kind of ties through. What how yes. does that part work? So the story kind of is the timeline of her being 16 when she starts writing and until she's 29, which is when Tapestry happens and she wins her Grammys. So it kind of starts with her playing songs and selling songs and then you see the songs play out on stage with the Shirelles and the Drifters. So it's just so fun because it's it's not just here's another song. It like shows how the right. the process works. So when you play somebody who's a real life figure, is that intimidating to you? Did you kind of have to study her? Or did you take your own organic approach to say, this is how I'm going to interpret this almost as a character? How, yeah, did, you, how did you approach it? It was hard because I asked our director, Jay Goodlett, I said, I, I don't know if you want me to imitate her right. or what. And he was like, we know that you are not, you're not an impersonator. And I think I really love that because yeah. I think I can bring my own style. And she's, she's there's a line in the show where she says, I'm just a normal person. Hmm. So I think that's really special and makes me feel a little calmer because she's just so down to earth. And I think that makes things easier. So I don't feel like I have to impersonate yeah. Her, but yeah. gives you freedom. Yeah, yeah to, exactly. So there's pressure to play a real person. I would imagine there's also got to be pressure to do a show where everyone in the audience knows every <laughs> single song you're going to yes. sing. Yes, and they're waiting for it. Right, yeah. right. What's that like? I'm, ex I'm excited. I, we haven't had an audience yet, but I think I, I'm excited and also nervous that I'm going to be like, yeah, I love these songs too. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I'm, right, I'm so right. excited. But I, I already hear people in our crew and our cast like in the audience just singing along. I, I was going to say, you haven't had an audience, so you can't answer this question, but I was going to say, do, does the audience sing along with the songs or are you encouraging that at some point during the show, like towards the end? Or yeah, there's Will you be part, surprised if they yeah, do sing? There's a part at the end when things finish up where we might ask people to join fun. and have some fun. And I have a feeling they probably oh, will. Oh, yeah, I hope yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what do you think about that space at the Warsaw Federal Incline Theater? It's a gorgeous Beautiful. facility. It's yeah. relatively new, and I yeah. this is my first time working with them, and I've had a blast. It's yeah. a beautiful facility. They're great, a great people. Yeah. Could you talk a little bit about yourself? Are you from Cincinnati? So I'm from Hamilton, okay. and okay. then I now live in Cincinnati. Cincinnati and I've just uh, been performing here and there around the area and yeah so this is my first time here mostly in Cincinnati. Oh but yeah. fun. I was what like, a great show. To yeah, I know. <laughs> huge. And I was like, are there any other roles that you've done sort of in your, in your background where like that was my favorite one, but maybe this one is now, or is this one your favorite I'd now? I don't say, want to put words in your mouth or I'd anything. Say, well, this is the first Broadway show I've ever seen. Oh. So <laughs> it's very special. That's really so neat. This is uh, definitely at the top, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 
All right, well, do you want to give us the rundown? I know you, you open tomorrow night. Yes. How long is the show? We open tomorrow and um, go until May 12th, so four weeks of the run. And then you can get tickets at our box office. You can call our box office, or you can go to clpshows.org. Um, just make sure you don't go into any other sites. We've had some issues with that. So right. just make sure Cincinnati you... Landmark Productions, right? Correct. CLP. Yeah. And what we'll do, we'll put a link up at local12.com. Yeah. Yeah. We can take it directly there, no problem. I, at some point, I will be there with my mother Perfect. to see the show. Perfect, great. Uh, uh, because she's got season tickets now for the the entire right. summer season and awesome. inclined because it's a fun season. Oh, and yeah. my mom who's watching from Columbus, it, <laughs> if you want to come down and see the show, we'll go too. And uh, Jay Goodlett is a friend. Really? Please He's tell wonderful. please tell Jay I said hello. I didn't, I didn't realize he was directing the yep. show. Super, you were in, you were in very good hands uh, with <laughs> Jay great. as your director. He's really great. Thank you for coming in, Cindy. Yeah, it's just a pleasure you. to talk to you. Thank you guys so good much. Good luck for the show. Yeah, break a leg. Yeah. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.